Oh, hey guys. Look what happened to my t-shirt when you pop pomegranates. Can you see that? Guess where I came from. Guess where I came from. Hmm. I wonder where Ali goes. I wonder where Ali went. I'll give you a clue. Look at the recipe and you'll find out. One line. One line. One line. It's about 7 p.m. here in the UK. 7 p.m. Wash my hands? Well, I don't know. Did I wash my hands? Everything. You know when you wash your hands and you immediately touch something else? Hey, hey, Danny. Peace and love. You know when you wash your hands and you clean it and then you touch the tap and you're like, oh shit, the tap is dirty. And then you go to the fridge and you're like, oh crap, somebody else touched this. And then you go down and you're like, oh my gosh, this watermelon's got like some spray on it. And it's like, how do you ever get your hands clean? That's why, if you can get a clean knife, slice your watermelon and just eat it straight there, you're good. Because then nobody else is, no, nothing touches it. Your mouth is on the fruit. Anona, cherry moya, all that, all that stuff. Uh, durian you have to kind of stick your hands into unless you do a, some other methods. Champa that you can suck. Basically, when you can pull a fruit out from its package and just suck it right there, boom. Juices, this happens, it happens. I don't know, maybe you can like, I know maybe what I know what I can do is have one hand. I'm gonna wash one hand again, my left hand, and I'm gonna use my right hand to to do stuff. So I'm gonna use my my right hand for the. You build up a strong strong gut flora. True. Danny, do you wanna come live? Do you wanna come live, Danny? Huh? If you wanna come live, come live now. Danny, look what I've got. Brazil. Bra Brazil! Riva, Riva, Riva! Sorry guys, I'm a bit high. I don't know why. It's not a bad thing, is it? It can be bad if the person next to you wants silence, but it's nice to be high on life. Okay, so. Watermelon. Let me guys get that angle. This is purely for... The reason why I go live so much is because it's just for observation. The more you guys see me do this, the more you're like, oh crap, Ali's actually do like he is actually juicing every day most of his time. I'm not gonna lie, I had a banana smoothie earlier with figs. It doesn't make me feel as good as melon juice. That's all I'm saying. You know, sometimes I ask myself, ask yourselves, if money wasn't a problem, what would you eat? Do you know what I'd eat? I'll tell you guys what I eat. And then Daniela, you can share what you would eat. I'd have raw coconuts, fresh pressed cantaloupe, galia. Um, what else do I like that's juiced? Green juices, orange, high quality oranges, high quality mandarins, passion fruit, blueberries. That's what I'd do. If I have money, was it a problem? 40% of my diet would be coconut water. I'm telling you that now. 40% of my diet would be coconut water. 40%. And the rest would be like melon and, and, and orange juices. And then like 10% of the time, I'll enjoy like an exotic fruit. That's not even for detox. That's for life. This isn't about like detoxification. This is about what makes you feel amazing. Which so happens to correlate what detoxes you the fastest. Now what I've been doing lately is when your watermelon's dead, like mine is, because it's picked on right from all the way across the world, that's what happens when you import from a, a, a far distant place. That's why right now it's smart to eat from Spain. But right now, we're only, UK's only importing from Brazil. That's what happens here, I'm quite lucky. When it's winter, we get stuff from Brazil. I don't know what it's like in your countries, wherever you are. I want more watermelon. The watermelon's really crap. Well, not to the watermelon, but it's like I think I was driving around too fast today with the car. And when I do a hard break, all I hear is like a dead body, like doof, doof, doof. And I'm like, oh crap, Ali, drive slow, you got a watermelon in the back. 
And after a while, I just, I didn't know, I didn't take it out for a while because the fridge is full. I went to the watermelon and I was like, let me take you upstairs. I gave it a smack and it sounded so dull, like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, this watermelon is so bad. Because it should sound like, it should sound hollow. So what I did was, um, I brought it up and you could juice it. That's the point. That's the point I'm making. Okay, guys. You want to see some of what's going on here? Table, cuttings, bottles, watermelon, here. Look what happens when you forget to move this right below where it should come out. It spills everywhere. I'm going to wash this all straight away. I don't leave nothing around. I wash out things straight away. Nothing stays. Everything must go. Go, go. Go, 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 go. That goes in the bin. This goes in the bin. I wash this out. Sprinkle some of the water on the table. Get your cleaning cloth. Wash the cleaning cloth. Rinse it out hard. And then you can just clean up any like any watermelon that's left on the table because it gets sticky. And then just, I think kicks would dig men that are clean, like look after themselves. I hate having stuff lying around. It's a bit like your colon and your lymphatic system. Keep it clean, keep it moving, keep it clean, keep it moving, nothing stagnates. When things stagnate, you get problems. It should be like a river, you don't see rivers stagnate, do you? It's always raining, the river's always flowing, new water's coming in, old water's going out, like the fruits, new fruits come in, old fruits go out, fresh juice comes in, you piss it out, you absorb the nutrients, and then you move over. And then what you need to do is, once you wet, look what I do. I just put this here, so it can kind of like air dry. And then, I get this. Look at my worktop, look, I cleaned everything. Show you guys like cleanliness. This isn't about just juice, look. See that? Clean, nothing's here. Simple. Keep it clean. For some reason, I don't like drinking out of this jug anymore. And what happens is, as I'm pouring this back in, that lime is gonna evenly distribute itself throughout the juice now. Ah, just a little bit left. Drink some. You don't want any? Are you sure? Don't judge me for how fast I drink. I'm thirsty, I can't. I had figs and bananas, the smoothie, and then I went to the sauna, and then now I'm just like. SOS. I should make like a fruit ambulance. This person's constipated, dehydrated, they've been brainwashed. They're full of virus and bacteria. Get them watermelon juice ASAP. Woo! CPR, CPR. Give them watermelon to mouth. I'm alive. That's what happens when you do a juice fast. Ah. Hope you've been inspired. Thank you for joining me. And 
no matter where you are, no matter what climate it is, please go to a sauna and steam room and clean yourself. Your nails, your butt, your groin, your armpits, your hair, your nose, your eyes, everything. Wash, clean, 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 scrape, scrape, clean, scrub. Get a colonic, drink juices, wash this whole system, give it a full car valet, and then you'll be happy with the results. Okay? Peace and love.